Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Hey, who likes a good pun? I know Chris Yee likes a good pun. He's probably over the moon about this title. It's Squid Ink. Ha <laughs> ha, you get it? Squid Ink. Compete for clout as you cry, climb, crime to the corporate ladder, a drafting and positioning game by Ivan Turner. Two to four players in about an hour. Let me get that on frame for you there. Here we go. Upside down. Um, this is one that already the, the shrink has been opened, but uh, here we go. In Squid Ink, you play a lowly guppy looking to become the big fish in the company. As staff become available, you need to use their clout or get them working for you. Once you have staff placed inside the company, position them carefully, move them up the ladder, and become the big fish. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Here we see our rule book. And we see our components. Our objective is to strongly or strategically position your employees and assemble the most clout. And we see a illustrated setup. Each employee card has three properties, the name, the clout value, and the ability. Each turn has three steps. Choose an employee, bring employees into the workplace, and activate abilities. Once you've done that, the next player in play order goes. And they've got those three steps in a bit more detail. You also have some security guards. And the end game is when the last space on the board is filled, you move to the end game. Once it's triggered, it cannot be undone. And then you've got some scoring examples. So, seems like a relatively simple game, card driven. And uh, let's take a look at the board here. All right, we can see our kind of grid where we'll be placing out the cards. We have a little spillage here. For the most part, things are where they're supposed to be. All right, let's take a look here. We've got some nice thick cardboard pieces. We've got some pre-punched cardboard tokens here. Now, I will tell you, it says that punch boards are underneath the insert. If there are no punch boards under the insert, ah, yeah, see, I think this was one that was already punched before it was sent to us. So. This is one that uh, you probably would have to punch these yourself when you got it. So just be aware of that, because I can't understand why that note would be there. But we got one that was pre-punched. Yours will likely not be, but it doesn't look like it would be too terribly time-consuming to do so. So you can see some nice wooden pieces here. Some, what are those? I don't know, livers, beans, hearts? I don't think they're hearts, but... Uh, here, I'll take a couple out so you can see I'm a little bit closer. Don't know exactly what those are, but there we go. And then just some wooden, white wooden discs. All right, let's take a look at the cards here. The employee cards, like our headhunter. You can see they're all going to have clout values and abilities. Move an employee from the unemployed line into your mailroom. Float an adjacent employee, which I'm sure that that has some type of a keyword. Maybe move them up. All right. Along with some security guards kind of sneaking in there. And a little bit of art. All right. I think we get the general idea here. All right. So, Squid Ink cute theme for what seems to be a relatively simple card driven game could be fun though who knows there you have it squid ink thank you for watching another dice tower daily unboxing